Welcome to another video from the Goat Shed. Today it's Monday, 28th of March 2022. It's about 22 degrees outside, which is around about 71 degrees Fahrenheit. Late last week we received a Gottlieb surfer in for some attention. This is a machine which the chaps had for a number of years and uh, decided to time was right to get it all put back together so he's asked us to do so. Now when we went around the back and had a look at the player unit we noticed it was very sluggish. As always we like to pull these units out and give them a thorough service. But what prompted me to do this video is that over the weekend in some of the forums we see people doing band-aid effect solutions to repair these. Things like cutting springs to make it work better without doing anything else. Now here this is just pulled straight out of the machine. Let me operate this for you and you'll watch how sluggish the return is on the reset arm and the return of the actual drive arm assembly. So here we go, let's just push this up. It goes in and drives. Now let's let it go. Look at that, and see the reset arm just reset then. I'm gonna do that once more just so you can have a look. Down she goes, we've reached maximum stroke. The pull is here. Let it go. Look how slow it is to return and the reset arm to come back in. Now, basically, the way to fix this is to strip it right down as we're in the middle of doing now and clean it. And anyone that follows us know that we're very, very, very prone to using kerosene. So it's one of the better cleaners that I find to use. And you'll also note that the plate with the snowshoes or contact pins they're quite sluggish as well. What we're going to do, we'll actually take the old braid off and put new braid on. Take those snowshoes out. So you've got a desolder here and here and this one. Take them right out and if necessary, replace them. They're not too bad. They're still nice and rounded across the top. Maybe a little file and just check the springs. Just might be dirty down in the shaft there so we'll clean those out the other thing that we notice on this particular one before we pull it apart is that the coil casing isn't perpendicular to the main frame it's pointing over to the right a little bit that's a little hard to show you that but we'll try and let's show you there let's see yes there we go there there's a gap there so it's not perpendicular. You can even see it's crooked. If you look at it, I hope you can see that. It is, believe me. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're gonna pull this right apart and service it. So it's not difficult. We have done videos on this previously, so we're not gonna go and show you how to pull it apart, but we want you to be more than abundantly aware of what can happen. A lot of people would simply cut this spring here, and yeah, that would make it work properly, but there's still all the gump and grease in behind the escapement wheel. Once you pull those off, the cams, and by the way, just remember, this has got two white and two red cams. Okay, the red cams only have one lug on them because it's a two player. Where's that lug? There it is there. Two player, see the lug here? A two player game. There it is, there's the lug there and the one there. They use that for the Z1, Z2 reset rather than the actual relays. So just bear that in mind. And if you ever pull these apart and can't remember how to put them back together, in the back of each Gottlieb manual it, it tells you how to do so. So that's pretty simple, don't be afraid of that. Let me just show you something else very common on these that can happen. Once again, we've been through this before, but you need to know. 
there's always a wire that comes off and it's got a, in this case it has the eyelet on it and that bolts onto the coil casing. They often break off, become unsoldered or people don't bother putting a new eyelet on, they just try and tie them onto the ground. That is actually the common or ground for the lights, the ball in play lights. So if you don't have that on there, it won't work which is pretty straightforward. Now, later on, we'll have a look, good look at the contacts. The brass contacts all look pretty well okay on this game. So they'll be just all polished up and everything like that. So we've still got a bit of work to do on this. We just want you to be aware of what has to happen. So we'll pull that apart now and uh, finish the job. But if you want to see how to properly do a player unit, have a look for our video on player units, which we did several months ago, and that should help you. So that's all for today, and this has been another Goat Shed presentation.